Well, hey there, friends. I want to welcome you to the Thunkable X YouTube channel. This is the first video, and I am excited that you, my friend, are here. And in this video, we're going to be talking about really the, the first thing you need to do before you can start creating apps. This is what I did before I started creating apps with Thunkable, and it is exactly what you need to do as well. And that is creating your Thunkable account. So today we'll talk about where you can find Thunkable online, how you can create your own account, and uh, how to get started on your first app. And by the end of this video, you'll be ready to start designing and coding your first app. So to get started, go ahead and bring up a browser window and you can just type in Thunkable to search for uh, Thunkable. That's what we're using. And we want to go to thunkable.com. This is the home for all things Thunkable. And right at the beginning, you can see kind of all the different apps that they're saying you can create, but we want to do uh, this right here, and that's to get started. Now, an important thing I want to note is that we are going to be using the cross-platform version of Thunkable. Before the cross-platform, they had an Android-only version of Thunkable, and then they released an iOS version of Thunkable. Um, and back in June of 2018, I will uh, link the blog article that announced this, but back in June of 2018, they released the cross-platform, and that is denoted by this X, x.thunkable.com. So make sure that you're going there to create your account and your apps. So that is where you can find Thunkable. The next thing we need to do is sign in with our Google account. So if you have a Google account, you can sign in with that here, but some of you may not have one. So I'm gonna walk you through how to create your own. Now Google's, Google is very powerful as you probably have heard the name before, but one of the benefits you get with creating a Google account is you can uh, not only do things like sign in to applications like Thunkable, but you can also get access to Gmail and um, Google Docs and Google Sheets and Google Drive and all things Google. It is awesome. Before you create your account, uh, one disclaimer, if you are um, under the age of 13 or you're not in high school, um, I would advise you to check with your parents before creating an email as it does come with a little bit of responsibility. So what I've done is I selected create your own account and here I'm going to go through the account creation process. I've entered my first and last name and now it's going to ask me to provide a username. So this will be the um, text that will be before the at gmail.com. So it's recommending based off my name but I can do th something else like thunkable dot x dot 2018 and this is going to create um, a new google account for me now do not email me here as i <laughs> do not plan on checking this email after this video but this is going to be the account name for uh, this tutorial it's going to ask me to enter a password with a mix of letters numbers and symbols and create next so one thing that Google has started doing and a lot of places have started to do is digital verification. So I'm going to go ahead and block out my number here, but what it's going to do is text me a code so that it knows that, you know, I am who I say I am. All right. So I just got it on my cell phone right here. And if you do not have a cell phone or a way to text, you can also do a phone call. There's this option down here to call instead. All right, I've entered my verification code, so I will verify. Now a few options as we move on from here. If I wanted to enter a recovery email address, this would be used if I ever cannot access my account for security reasons, I can enter one here. I'm going to choose not to. And then it's going to ask for my birthday and then my gender. And these are things that Google likes to know in order to give you advertisements and track their users and things of that nature. If you want to learn more about why they do this, you can uh, click on why we ask for this information. And the last step for um, going through and creating your Google account is agreeing to all of their terms and conditions. 
So one thing they want to uh, verify is that you want to add your number to your Google account. So the number that you used for your verification code, you can choose to do this or you can select uh, more options. And this gives you four options. Do not add my number, add my number for account security only, add my number for security and Google calls and things like that. And then the last one, they will also use this to give you more relevant ads. So I'm gonna choose add my number for account security only. So once I've uh, done my phone, the last thing is to go through the privacy terms and uh, all of that good stuff. One thing that I will would advise you to do is go through this more options. This allows you to select what Google tracks. So do you want Google to track your web and app activity? You can say yes or no. Do you want Google to give you personal ads? Yes or no. Do you want Google to track your YouTube search history and watch history? Yes or no. Do you want Google to track your location and your voice and audio activity? These are no by default, but you can opt into that. And then send me occasional reminders. I will choose not to because I have enough emails coming my way. And once you have done that, you can select I agree. And that should be the end of your account creation process. Now, one more thing that I read about Google accounts is that back in 2016, Google passed 1 billion accounts. So there are 8 billion people in the world at the moment, and an eighth of those people have signed up for Google accounts. That is mind boggling. So now that we have our Google account created, since we created it within Thunkable and went ahead and automatically signed us in. So here I will find myself on the app management home screen. And this is where I can create my first app. And they have it right here in bold for you to start building. So I'll get into this in a little bit, um, or in another video actually, we'll talk about creating a new project and public versus private and all of those things. But that is where you can get started on your own app. But here's a little bonus tip for you. If you're just getting started here, you might wanna check out some of the other apps that they have provided for you. These featured projects were made uh, by uh, the Thunkable developers. So these are, these are great ones. They're gonna be good quality if you wanted to select like roll in here. What this allows you to do is you can view the project, read the description, and you can remix the app. So if I click select this, it's going to give me a copy of that app inside of my account so that I can adjust things like say the uh, screen name and um, go through to the blocks and I can see all of these different things to add my own pictures and things of that nature. So I'm not gonna get too in depth on that. I just wanna let you know that um, as a bonus to you that you can remix apps that are already made and that's a great way to get started. All right, well, that will, that will be all for today. So remember that um, go to x.thunkable.com for all of the tutorial videos that I will be talking about. You can use your Google account to access Thunkable. That will be your Thunkable account. And then you can start your own app or remix a new one so that you have kind of a, a starting point. And uh, one thing that I would ask you to do, uh, what I want to know is what are you excited to make in Thunkable? Leave me a comment below and tell me about why you want to get started with Thunkable and uh, what you're hoping to accomplish and what kind of apps you're hoping to make. Well, that is all for Thunkable X today. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.